Hey there, good morning. This is your host, Jeff Ski Kinsey, and it is another great day. It is a little bit chilly, I must admit, in Northeast Ohio, <laughs> but what are you going to do? So, hey, I want to talk about a $1,000 reward. I had my business card laying here a second ago. Isn't that funny? No, not so much, but here's the deal. I'm looking to buy some businesses, okay? I think it's the perfect time, right? Buy low, sell high. So if you got a business not in the food or beverage industry, east of the Mississippi, doing somewhere between two and $22 million gross annual revenue, either 2019 or 2020, then I'd like to talk to you. Now, 22 million, probably on the high side. Let's say 2 to 12 million gross revenue. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I've got some investors that are looking to do some stuff. I'm looking to get out of the house, you know, as a semi-retired marketing madman. I find myself with time on my hands, right? And so, what better way to fix that than to buy another business? I've bought several in the past. I've sold some. I've created a bunch from scratch. I've partnered on some adventures that didn't make it. I've partnered on some that did. The bottom line is, I can't think of anything more fun than business. Sorry. With or without your clothes on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mostly these days with your clothes on. But anyhow... I like to kid around, right? I, I remember, for some reason, I found the letter. In fact, uh, right here it is. When I was working for the town of Hilton Head Island, I was the first DBA, database administrator for the town. And I remember one of my favorite publications at the time, InfoWorld Magazine. Well, let's even back up before that. We had, I was working for a company I had helped them find a computer system, and then they said, hey, we need you to come in and run it. So they convinced me they could afford me, and long story short, we got a chance to use a, a um, customer's condo in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. So I took the family down there and fell in love with the place. That was 1983. It took me 14 years to convince my wife that we should move there. Finally, in frustration, we had moved to Sydney, Ohio. I was working down at consulting down at LexisNexis. And she finally gives up. She goes, look, if you can find a job down south, we'll move. <laughs> I open up InfoWorld Magazine. Boom, there it was. Town of Hilton Head Island looking for a DBA. Now, I had never officially been a DBA, but I had done a lot of SQL leading up to that for the state of Ohio and a bunch of different projects. So long story short, I get the job and just fell in love with the place. But hey, I could go on and on. I can tell stories all day long. The bottom line is if you got a business or you know somebody, you know, if it's your business, you know, you're still entitled to a th thousand bucks plus whatever other deals we might make. But Everybody knows somebody that's in business, and some of those somebodies are frustrated, right? It's not going the way they had hoped, and it's just not fun anymore. That's what the comment I wanted to make was. So, long story short, um, I started out as the DBA. This is in May of 1998. I got a promotion to the position of MIS administrator. It was my job to oversee the database stuff, and also the Unix administration for the town. I had put together the most amazing request for quote. We brought, we bought a Sun Enterprise server running Solaris, Sybase. I think it was pretty sure it was Sybase 11 at the time. Um, but not too long after, I think it was August, I went to HR. Long story short, HR departments, don't get me started. In fact, I named <laughs> the box. We actually put payroll and, and HR on um, 
this big enterprise box, and I called the box Cybert. It was a play on Cybase and Catbert, the evil HR director. And so in, in August, I just had enough with HR, and you know, what a mess. And I said, look, you know, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> the person I was talking to, she was kind of taken aback by that. And it's like, look, life's too short to work someplace that's not fun. I don't think it was too many more months before she was gone. Yep. Personnel makes a huge difference. The right person makes all the difference in the world, don't they? Hey, so anyhow, I'd love to reward you if you connect me personally with the principal and I make a deal, you'll get a thousand dollars cash cashier's check at closing. How cool is that? So looking for some extra spending money for the holidays? <laughs> there you have it. But if I can help advance your efforts, reach out. Pick up your mobile phone, which mine is somewhere. Pick up your mobile phone, dial pound 250, and at the prompt say, contact ski man. Well, let's say you don't have a mobile phone. Can't imagine this day and age. Maybe you got an Alexa device, okay? Repeat after me. Alexa, launch contact ski man. There you have it. Let's say you don't have an Alexa device. Well, you could put Alexa on your mobile phone that you don't have. Okay. You could shoot. Well, if you don't have a mobile phone, you couldn't shoot me a text. But if you wanted to, you could text me. You could text the word double sales, which is one of my mantras. Text the word, no, text the word reward. Text the word reward to my mobile 330-992-4754. Now you can call the number and leave a message. I don't pick up, I don't pick up calls from numbers I don't know. Okay, life's too short, and that's not fun, right? <laughs> so many telemarketers out there. Hey, I could go on and on and on, and some days I do, but that's the short and sweet of it. And by the way, if you need help, I do consulting, I do mentoring, trying to find a job. Reach out to me. If you got open job recs and you're trying to find great talent, reach out. I focus on the 48 continental United States, okay? But for businesses, I'm looking in particular for Ohio or South Carolina or Florida. Definitely not Georgia here of late. And I love Texas. I had an office in San Antonio for a year, the, the Riverwalk. I just loved it down there. Great community, just fabulous people and in a spirit about it for the most part. But that's a long haul. When you got family in Ohio, Texas is a long haul. South Carolina? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's that lake just north of Charlotte? Um, my mind's blank. <laughs> I've stopped there numerous times back when the only coffee shop was a caribou shop back in the 90s. Hey, Remember, it's going to be just about as great a day as you make up your mind to make it. So join me and let's make it a fabulous day. Okay? Great.